They're still down by one point going into the fourth quarter. But Jarrett Daniels looking to change that across the 50, 40, one man to beat. 20, he beat him. 10, 5, touchdown Jarrett Daniels. Giving us back the lead. Second down and two. No, what am I saying? Second down and goal. Bell, <laughs> Bell getting to the five yard line. Third down and goal. Bell inside the, oh, Bell inside the two. Kicker comes on. Valadez. Please don't let me down. Please do not let me down. You've already missed an extra point from this distance. What can you do? Got it. We're up by 2, 25, 23, 45 seconds remaining in the game. It's like, how do you give up a 35-yard pass when time is up? Are you kidding me? Within 10 seconds, you give up a 35-yard pass? How? How? Oh, my gosh. We just gave that game away. We just gave that game away. Just thought I'd give a little bit of a flashback as to what happened in the last game. That disappointing loss to UCF. Check out the conference standings. The postseason is almost here. This is the conference championship. We can see the UCF with the winning the CUSA East, beating us. Luckily, we were at a three-way tie, but we got we beat SMU, and we were closer to losing this division than I thought we were. We got beat by Tulsa in overtime. And we beat SMU, but who'd Tulsa lose to? Well, they lost to UCF. Uh, see, I mean, they lost to SMU, I think, is what I just read. I'm not exactly sure if that's what I read. Anyway, guys, I, I didn't miss my show. This is Chelsea Studley with an NCAA 2013 Dynasty video, Herb Street. He's going with the Miners this game, and why wouldn't he? It's the rematch, rematch, rematch. Payback Vengeance is all in mind for just this game. That's all I've been thinking about. I've been wanting to put this video up for so long after that last video I put up of this Dynasty series. Just because of the grudge match that I could have against UCF. I was pumped. I was all kinds of excited. I wasn't happy. We gave up that we gave that game away. I mean our kicker missed extra point, our offensive line stopped playing. I threw like a pick out. Oh, I mean, we just didn't play good. I didn't play good. The team didn't play good. And we lost home field advantage. We're back in Florida for the second straight week taking on the Knights. we got to take him down this time. Herb Street, he went with us. He picked us. We can't let him down. I mean, he's looking for us to get that grudge match to win this game, which is a big deal to me. Anyway, I hope this will be a good game. Hoping for Hope we play a lot better than we did. The last week. We got the Jets. ESBN's here. And we're ready. First down and 10. Jarrett Daniels. We got the ball first. He's going to carry the ball for a first down right off the bat. Let's take a, look at it. take a look at his season stats. He's having a very good freshman campaign. Actually, very good. I mean, you guys didn't even want me to start him at the beginning of the season. I ended up starting him anyway. And I do not regret that decision. Uh... Landor picked up the first down that last carry. First down and 10 to Patterson. Juking inside the 30-yard line. Nice little grab there for the UTEP Miners. There goes some no huddle. Hurry up, no huddle. Try and catch this UCF team off guard. The one thing that UTEP had going for him in the last week's matchup was UCF struggled to stop in the running game, and they struggled with the no huddle game. So that's what we're going to try to hit on all cylinders this time around. Second down and 19 after giving up a sack, which is not surprising. We give up a lot of sacks. Too many sacks. And that's my own fault for not recruiting a better offensive line. Fumble. All right, we got it back. We got it back. Tomlinson picked it up. He's my hero. You are my hero, Tomlinson. Whew. But anyway, all these sacks, it's pretty much my fault. I, have, I didn't recruit an offensive lineman. I've just been recruiting quarterbacks and skill position players so I could get plays like that from Jordan Leslie. First down and 10 inside the 20 yard line. This is where we're deadly. Cole Freitag in motion on the jet sweep. We haven't ever run that play this year. Thought I'd give it out there. Nothing new in those. Second down and 10. Daniels, he's going to lose nothing. He got back to the line. Look at that. That's called power running, ladies and gentlemen. Power running. Third down and 10. Dropping back underneath to Patterson. Did he get in? He got in. Touchdown. UTEP. 
There we go. Revenge is sweet. Hopefully, if we can keep it going, the defense gave up a field goal. So we gotta keep we gotta keep scoring. If we can get up 14 to three, that would be stupendous. 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Landor dropping back to throw, looking for anything deep to Harrison, who's gonna make the grab, making it third down and 14. Dropping back is Landor, looking for anybody. Oh, why was open? Why didn't you hit him? Why didn't you hit him? We'd punt the ball. UCF would drive down and score. They took the lead. 10-7 to 7 now is your score. Second down and one. Jared Daniels. Oh, my. Oh, you what? Did you see that? That was a crazy play. It looks like Daniels just lateraled the ball to Leslie. But the very next play, Daniels, he's making up for that fumble. Picked up some big yards on the ground. First down and 10. Taking a break. Nathan Jeffrey comes in. Gain of five. Second down and five. Offensive line. They can they can run block like no one else. Pruitt, did you see that lead block by Pruitt? Look at that block by that fullback. What a beast! First down and ten to Nathan Jeffrey again inside the five yard. Oh, what am I seeing? Second down and five. Pick up a five. Not inside the five yard line. Now we're still the five yard line. Landor to Shai. Landor taking the ball by himself into the end zone. Touchdown, Miners. UCF would get the ball, score again. They've got the lead back, 17 to 14, right before the half. All right, I guess. David Gray comes in for Deshaun Lander, who's hurt. I like David Gray for one reason, because he's got a powerful arm. Touchdown! Cole Freytag off the throw from David Gray. He's breaking school records, career records. Look at that. That's the one reason I like David Gray. He's my True freshman quarterback. I did not redshirt him this year, as so I promised him I wouldn't. But next season, I probably will redshirt him. Unless, of course, his overall trumps Landor's, which there's no way it will. <clears throat> but got an offside penalty there on Carlton Wyatt. We're going to want to take that, definitely, because we had a fumble by my boy Daniel. So he fumbled it again. How, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How many is that for you this game? I ended up subbing him out. I was tired of those fumbles. I had to sub him out for a few plays. That was like three in a row. We're going a wheel route to Cole Freytag. Cole Freytag with it inside the 20, 15, 10, 5. Diving. Oh, he didn't dive, but he got the touchdown anyway. Yeah. Giving me a 10-point lead. Breaking another record. Making himself probably the most prolific wide receiver in UTEP history. UCF would score again, though, making it a four-point ball game. Daniels is back in the game. He's got his head screwed on tight. Hopefully going to stop this whole fumbling nonsense. First down and 10, Nathan Jeffries in. Jeffries got a big carry across the 30. into the t Oh, he got tackled right before the 35-yard line. That's one. Nathan Jeffrey, Nathan Jeffrey never had the speed factor for me. That's one reason he didn't start for me. Oh, my goodness. Jordan Leslie just got cleaned. He's got destroyed. Fumbled that one. UCF picks it up. They've got the ball. Luckily, the defense came up huge for us. 28-24. Still with 4-13 remaining in the ball game. We can take this conference. We can win this conference championship. How many would that be for Coach McStudley? I think two in a row, I guess. We didn't win it this first year, but I think it's two time. You. you Two-time CUSA champions since last year we won their first ever CUSA championship. This will be their second ever in the history of UTEP football. Jarrett Daniels pick up the first down there. We are inside three minutes, ladies and gentlemen. We are trying to burn some clock, maybe get in the end zone one more time. Man, as times like these, I get a little bit nervous playing this game. I was all kinds of nervous. Third down and two after Jeffrey gets us. Oh, that wasn't. I don't know who that was. I thought it was Jeffrey. I'm pretty sure it was Jeffrey. Third down two, Jeffrey outside the corner. He got the corner. Picking up the big first down. Timeout. UCF. They need to take some words. They didn't follow the quarterback to Shai Landor. Ooh, upended. Picking up five yards, second down five. Jared Daniels. Picking up the first down, first down and ten. UCF's out of timeouts. This game is pretty much UTEP's. Unless we screw up. Did you guys see that? Daniels on the sideline. Did you see that? I don't know if anybody else saw Daniels on the sideline with like the defense. Like, feeling bad about that sack. Anyway, running the clock down, taking all the time in the world this snap count. Save down at 15. 
We just want to stall. I mean, we're stalling this out. Think of it like a wrestling match. You're up by one point. You just got to stall it out. Second down at 15. Lando dropping back to throw to Daniels. Who's going to drop it? Third down at 15. Oh, man. I'm getting nervous. What? Going to hand the ball off here. They're, they're expecting pass. We're going to go with the run. The blocking that I needed didn't happen. Only picked up four yards. Fourth down and 11. But look at that. The defense came up big. We picked up a field goal in the process. 31-24, your final score to Shai Landor in his first year as the UTEP Meyer quarterback has gone through and won the CUSA, finishing out the year with a 10-3 and record. Feeling, I mean, that's good. That is not bad. I mean, we lost... We lost our big-time quarterback that we had. I cannot remember his name that we had the year before this, but it wasn't Landor. That's for sure. I'm going to have to go back and look because I, I missed that guy. He was good. And we play of the game was that wide receiver star, Cole Freitag, scoring a touchdown, giving us a big lead. Anyway, guys, the fans are all kinds of pumped up. I hope you guys are all pumped up. We are CUSA champions again, back-to-back. -back. We're going to be trying for back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, but first we got a bowl game. Next episode, bowl game, should be a good one. I hope you guys come back hosting the trophy. We deserved it. We won it. Happy times. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I do I do appreciate it. I really do. If you did like it, please leave a like, comment. Tell me you liked it. If you had to subscribe, go ahead and do that. We'll see you next time, guys.